Hi folks, hope you're okay today. We're looking at this book and we're looking at the article by uh, Peter Adam uh, on the Preacher and the Sufficient Word. I'm just reading a few quotes and then um, giving my own thoughts. He goes, The doctrine of the sufficiency of Scripture imply that we have no need of teachers and preachers does the doctrine of the sufficiency of scripture imply that we have no need of teachers and preachers in the church? This view is often expressed by clergy when they say their hope in ministry is to do themselves out of a job and by lay people who believe that they have no need of teachers for the Bible itself is sufficient for them. Nor for the Bible tells us of our need of overseers and of elders who are able to teach, encourage by sound doctrine and refute those who oppose it. Titus 1.9 a congregation which does not have this ministry is left unfinished, Titus 1.5. Elsewhere, these elders are described as leaders who sport the word of God, those who keep watch over you as men who must give an account, Hebrews 13.7 and 17. And Paul instructs these elders, keep watch over yourselves and all the flock of which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers, be shepherds of the church of God which he, he bought with his own blood, Acts 20.28. The argument that many people bring up is, is they'll say, well, yeah, we, we, we know the Bible's sufficient, so why do we need preachers? We need preachers to expound the Word of God because God has said that there are to be leaders in the church who are to do this. And if God has appointed people to do that or gifted people to do that, then it's obviously we need those gifts. And we need people who are gifted to expound the Word of God. And so as pastors and preachers, you've been given a God-ordained mandate to teach the Word of God. And the church is in rebellion, rank rebellion, if it refuses to listen to the office bearers who desire to preach the Word of God, or it refuses to listen to biblical preaching. Because God has ordained that there be such men to proclaim the Word of God. You have got a great task as a preacher. And our culture within the church and outside of the church will tell you that you as a preacher should not be preaching. But if God has called you to preach, then preach you must. Okay?